back to Osco. This is a Funko Pop unboxing. Pop and box. Funko Pop box. Cool. Unboxing. 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 Not gonna box it up. Nope. Nope. Okay. nope. So this one is from Toy USA. Uh, it is a sixty dollar guaranteed value, but it is uh, basically it's a scavenger hunt, but it's a damaged box. Um, so they did a limited three hundred box totals, four per box or a two pack which counts as two um, there is a picture of stuff that could be in there there's like two pictures i'll pop them up so you can see it uh, there's a good chance they they could be damaged but they paste ppg off of undamaged so but the top box i believe they said could be as high as 500 or something like that mm. so we'll see that's a dishwasher that is a dishwasher okay. But yeah, we'll uh, open this up, see what we can find. I need a new remove. Yeah. All right. So let's close this up. Show. We're not going to show me, we're going to show you. Oh, I've got all these people before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So. <laughs> there is three knot in the protector and one in. Soft or hard protector? Soft. Can you hear? So we're going to start on the top. I have the front towards you. The first one coming out is upside down. Upside down. And then it's Flash. That's uh, Jay Garrick. It's DC Comic Legion of Collectors. So not a bad one. We'll do PPG at the end. As far as damage, I don't see anything. There's one minor corner. I saw one little, one teeny, probably, camera probably won't even pick it up right there. So it's not actually not bad at all. It's in pretty decent shape. Next one. Ready? Set. Go. Looks like Harry okay. Potter. Serious Black. Uh, no picture or no sticker. No sticker. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of damage there. Oh, definitely damage there. Yeah, I see it popping over here. And some in the corner here. So it's got a couple dings. Not bad. It would be considered probably good condition, most likely. The front has a little wave to it. So uh, what year is that from? I'm not sure. The sticker might be covering it up. Yeah, I think so. Normally there's a little year on here, but I don't see it on this one. Okay, I'm just wondering. 2016. How'd you get that? Uh oh. <laughs> Got it. So that's probably vaulted, I would think. For a 16, yeah. Alright, here's the third one. This is in the detector? This is not. A three and softies and one. Three and not one and no, oh, one and the softies. Sorry, sorry. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> it's probably going to be a keeper. <laughs> See, uh, Legion of Collectors, Catwoman. Yeah. Jen obviously likes that one. So it's got very minor damage there. A little bit in that corner. That's about all I see on that one. It's got a teeny tiny dent. Right there. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yep. Yeah. Or ever so slight. This is actually still probably. What year is that one from? Twenty hmm. sixteen. Print. I would assume these are that's vaulted. So here is. 
one in the soft protector. The one in the soft protector. So if it's in a soft protector, I'm going to assume it's going to be pretty decent. Um, hopefully it's not jacked up. No, hopefully not. So we'll see. Um, but I mean, 60 bucks plus shipping. So I think we're $70 all the way in. We'll see though. Maybe this one will take the whole thing. And ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, Blade Runner. Roy Beatty, Blade Runner. That's the guy that played pretty much the psychopath. This is a Smy World soft protector. So looking at it. Is that a bing bing on that no. side? Very minor mark there. You can barely pick it out. This is actually in really good shape. What movie is that from? Blade Runner. Oh. It's definitely an older pop. I do not know what year this is from. This one's actually not even stamped like the other ones are. I don't know. I'm not that well versed on fi figuring out years. So, yep. Yeah. So. We'll scan it. We will be using the uh, Whatnot app. We're going to save this one for last. I'm going to peek at it, see if I can figure out the date. She's going to try, yes. So, Whatnot app on the first one. So, we're going to have to manually type all these in. So, flash. Lose another the barcode. 341. <clears throat> right, there he is. PPG on this guy is eleven dollars. They are selling that's the nice thing. That's what I like about the whatnot app. It tells you like what the demand is. There's eight listed and currently 30 people want it. So the price is gonna be higher. Uh, real money on that's probably 15 to 18 bucks. Nice. Yeah, pretty good. <clears throat> so we're going to do the Harry Potter Sirius Black next. Sirius Black, number 16. Three listed, 68 one, has a PPG of $11. So again, that for, we'll probably get more than 11 for it, right? Yeah, this one... Well, that's a bunch of scuffs on top. This one's going to be in, like, probably good to damaged range. So I'll probably still get $11 for it, believe it or not, because the near mitts are 16, damage is 12. So 11's a good number. 11's a good number. So that's 22 out of 60. <clears throat> so the cat one, this is another DC... Comic one, which I don't even know why I'm looking it up because Jen's gonna keep it. Well, <laughs> cat one is 136. Classic, yes. Okay, I keep it. <laughs> PPG of $13. And I thought what it's selling for. Now, if it was poison ivy, it would definitely not go anywhere. Oh, yeah, for sure. So 11, 11, 22, 32, $35. So this guy should be at least $25. Well, we'll see. And this one does have a barcode if it'll read it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize. What? Guys, this is the chase version. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that either. Very nice. So it says no PPG data. However, does that mean it's bolted or? Um. Or they just don't give a price. I'm gonna hop over to the Funko app before I tell you how much it's worth to see. Did you just hop? I did. Okay. All right, so we have a PPG on the Funko app. We don't have it on the WhatNot app, but the prices are pretty much on par with this one. I didn't see it. You ready? See how much this is? No. $65. Woo! That's a good one, guys. 
We had a good one. Um, that would be considered premium, like a premium or a grill. Nice. Yeah. And the best part about this one is it, it it's in really good shape. I'll take it out of the, out of the binder. We're going to see. Very gently. Yeah. I have some expensive ones. But it goes more towards the upper end. Not my glasses? No. Okay. Just a loop. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a loop is, it's a jeweler's loop, so you can see it. This thing is mint. So I'll easily probably get that. We can sell that one. So I'm going to hop over the WhatNot app here, and uh, yeah, we're definitely sell this one. Because <laughs> there is 11 listed, 12 wanted. Um, and I'm, if it's going for that much on the WhatNot, it's probably going for that on eBay as well. I like the WhatNot app. You can just list it and sell it right on there. But the mints are anywhere from 45 to 75 dollars. That's that's pretty good. I will definitely take that. So that puts us at like a hundred bucks. Nice for a called seventy dollar <clears throat> box because that's with shipping. Hundred dollar return. That's a thirty percent on uh, on money. That's really good, guys. Do I'll take that you. every day. Yeah, I do math. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. We do appreciate you. And come back uh, uh, next Friday for another Funko Pop unboxing. And we'll see you on the next one. Otherwise known as Funko Friday. That's right. See you then. Bye-bye.